shall we? Hello, welcome to G Cinema. James Gunn has already announced quite a few projects for the upcoming DCU, but one that is conspicuously absent is a Justice League movie. This is quite a change from the previous DC film franchise, which dropped its big team up movie before half of the heroes were even introduced. Of course, that probably isn't a bad idea, given how the DCEU ended up. Still, it begs the question of when James Gunn and Peter Safran are going to give DCS most popular superhero team a second chance. From Gunn's announcements and casting decisions for Superman Legacy, it seems as though the DCU will take place in a world where superheroes are already firmly established. It has also been revealed that the brave and the bold will feature a Batman who has already been around for a while and has already moved on to having Damian Wayne as Robin. From this information, it's not impossible to think that the Justice League already exists in this world, but it still isn't clear when Gunn will actually make a movie about them. The best time for the DCU's Justice League movie would be at the end of the franchise's first chapter Gods and Monsters. By waiting until after things are established, James Gunn and Peter Safran can create a sense of excitement around the big crossover event. This will mean that Justice League won't waste screen time establishing new characters and instead focus on the way they play off one another. Previously, the DCEU tried to introduce three of its main heroes in a single movie, which led to Justice League feeling crowded and messy. Even Batman felt a little underdeveloped since he was acting very differently than in Batman v Superman. Though this would mean simply replicating Marvel's formula, it's hard to argue with the MCU's results. Marvel waited until every member of the team had at least one cameo before jumping into the Avengers back in 2012 and it helped create hype around the idea of them all being in the same movie. The DCU will be very different from the MCU in other ways, so even if they use the same model for when to release a Justice League film, it won't feel too similar. For the DCU to be successful, it would be helpful for them to take some of what worked from Marvel while also keeping its unique identity. James Gunn has quite the task ahead of him, since the DCEU is still very present in the cultural consciousness. He has to make audiences excited about characters that they just finished watching in some critically panned movies. The best thing he can do is avoid making the same mistakes as the DCEU, and that includes rushing out a Justice League movie too early. Instead, the DCU needs to focus on creating movies people enjoy, instead of rushing into a big event in hopes of catching up with the MCU. Luckily, it looks like Gunn is taking deliberate steps to distance the DCU from the issues with the DCEU. For one thing, it has been announced that Superman Legacy will take inspiration from comic books like All-Star Superman, a much more optimistic take on the Man of Steel than Snyder's sneering broody version. It also seems like the new franchise will be waiting an appropriate amount of time for a Justice League film, seeing as there have been no announcements for it yet. This will help build a sense of anticipation around the developing DCU and its new characters, instead of simply retreading the same ground as before.